all right guys thanks for tuning back in to us this is our second video of our three-day turkey hunt in Kentucky back in April uh, myself and my good friend Jay Pope went up to Kentucky um, we started out at the first farm that we um, went to the morning before scouting and we had birds gobbling in several different places and we went and set up luckily that we talked to the farmers and they told us where they've been seeing the birds come out so we went and set up and um, we had our decoy up and, and uh, you'll see it you won't be able to tell but a bird was coming behind us up the hollow and I don't know what happened I, Jay didn't see the bird but I did um, some deer came up and I got a little bit of video of the deer I think the deer spooked the bird and it flew up in a tree and then flew off and it never came in and that was kind of disappointing because we we thought we were about to make it happen uh, I had told Jay we should probably just sit right there and because uh, the farmer told us that's that's the corner of the field he sees the birds in all the time but some other birds were gobbling and Jay likes to run and gun so we got up and left and I don't know probably an hour or so later as we circled around the back side of the farm and got on another bird um, I forgot to tell you the the night the morning the night before the evening before we went and set up a trail camera one Jay has one of those um, cell cameras and it sent a picture to him a turkey walked by our setup so if we'd have just stayed put we may have made it happen <laughs> it's funny how something this simple you have to sh try it three or four times exactly it's freaking it's, daylight it's, it's getting light we need to hurry up Hey guys, welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. We gotta hurry up, it's breaking daylight. It is opening day in Kentucky, 2017. We drove up uh, night before last or two nights ago. I don't remember, we're in a different time zone. <laughs> Literally, when you hunt with this guy right here, you're in a different world. Say hello, Jay. What's up? <laughs> uh, we come up to this farm. We roosted some birds yesterday, not roosted. We heard some birds yesterday morning. And so we're back in here today. Hopefully we can get it done. I got the expert. No, don't say that. The expert? You're not an expert. So we're going to have a shotgun, we're going to have a bow, and we're going to have a camera. We will try and get it all done this morning. Yeah, there we go. Stay with us. Hopefully when you see us again, we'll have have some featherage. That's right. <laughs> all right. All right, let's go. Thanks for watching, guys.
All right, so we moved around the farm and um, checked down. If you remember from the last video, if you watched it, where those birds came out by that pond and we went around to that pond, I heard a bird gobble in the distance on the other property. And uh, we went and set up on it. It gobbled and gobbled and gobbled and finally came out in the field, but we were set up in the wrong spot. We seen it come out and he didn't pay us any attention. And he worked his way back around, back into the woods. And then another tom came in. I don't have any of it on video because I couldn't get it on the video. But another tom, tom came in and they, they got in the woods and started fighting. It was pretty crazy action. Um, maybe you can hear some of it. Anyway, while this was happening was when the bird came by um, our other setup. And we didn't make it happen, unfortunately. So, But it was still an exciting morning at our first farm. We finally left the first farm and we knew the second farm from yesterday was eh, a no-go. It really just didn't suit us so we gra grabbed us a quick bite to eat and um, we ran over to the third farm, the one that we uh, went and looked at the night before in the dark and we, it looked really good. When we got down to the farm it was a, it was a field and then a hedgerow and then another field into the river. And when we stepped in, we looked, and we thought we saw turkeys. And after we got to looking, it we it was decoys. And after a quick phone call to the landowner, 
Um, he told us nobody else was supposed to be hunting there, so we thought we was about to catch a trespasser. And um, we walked around there, and they were just two decoys sitting there. Evidently, somebody had hunted there that morning without permission. So um, the other part, the other field was up high, and I was down low. I grabbed the decoys, and we walked down the, the edge, and um, Jay was above me and he saw some toms so I slipped up and we set up and the toms went up the hill and we sat there for a while sat there for a while and um, he some jakes came down they were they were several hundred yards away but we could see them Jake could see them in his binoculars and we decided to drop down in a creek check a creek and we walked up we snuck up the creek and popped out on them and Jay made a few calls and a Jake came right in and he Got his first Kentucky bird. I didn't get, it wasn't good video because of the way we had to set up, but I got some of it and here's how it went down. You got him, maybe.
Hey girl. Awesome job, buddy. Hey, we got it done in Kentucky. God, what a day. Hmm. I don't love shooting jakes, but Oops, as many snafus we've had today. We worked hard for that shoot bird. Shoot the first bird I saw. <laughs> we, we, worked, we worked hard for that bird. I still went across the field. <laughs> I feel good about you getting a bird now. We got this evening and tomorrow. We... Frog. Okay. Why don't we run out there and grab him? Three, four. He's got a beard. He's a legal bird. Hmm. He's got a beard. He's a legal bird. Well, that's always a good thing. Yeah. Good job, buddy. You want to take a picture of it? I am. I don't make it look bigger. <laughs> Always say that. Huh. Yeah. Let me show them the spurs. No, I'm impressed. <laughs> Jay got his bird, and um, we were setting up doing the hero shots and going to do all that stuff. And I looked behind Jay, and lo and behold, those three toms were working their way back down the hill. Um, and so we went into panic mode real quick, and we. We actually cut the tail off of that Jake and tried to fan those birds and we messed with them for a while and it didn't work out. So we, uh, we grabbed that Jake up and we headed back to the truck. And after we got back to the truck, you might not be able to tell, but there was a great big tall hill on one corner of the property. So Jay and I uh, went to the top of the hill and we started glassing and we we could see those toms down there below us they were several hundred yards away and we watched them we watched them work across the field we actually saw some deer come out and some coyotes and jay was filming i'll put a little bit of that in there and we watched all of those birds work their way down and fly up and roost so we knew where they were roosted i knew the exact trees so we we waited till dark and we got down went and grabbed us some papa john's Shout out to Papa John's. And uh, we came back, it was probably 10.30 that night. We snuck in on them. We set the uh, blind up for me the next morning, try to get one with my bow. Hope you like day two. It was a pretty exciting day. We had birds gobbling. I mean, half the fun of turkey hunting is just hearing the birds gobble, in my opinion. I mean, it's great when you kill one, but we had a great time on the second day, even though, you know, honestly, we were disappointed that Jay had to harvest a Jake, but we didn't want to go home empty-handed. But it was a great day. We had, we had lots of fun, saw birds, heard birds, and all that good stuff. Got your heart pumping, and that's what it's all about. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Remember, we're working for a living, living for the outdoors.